Hello. Hola, bonjour, everybody. This is Matthew, representing Half MB3. And today I'm going to update you guys on my 5x5 <clears throat> powerlifting program. Uh, this is this will be after week two of the program, and I'll have here a graph, or I guess over here, a the graph of the week two numbers and lifts. Um, from week one to week two, the at least for the overhead press, the first movement, up to about ten pounds each lift. So the last set went to be about one hundred and forty five, one hundred and forty pounds for five sets. And I ended up getting, without a belt or without straps, wrist wraps, I got all the reps except I only got four on the very last set. And then I just rested for a second and then got the fifth. Sorry, I'm burping. So <clears throat> that wasn't too bad. I didn't quite get it, but, you know, luckily the following week, the third week, you bring it back down again and it's kind of a resting week. So hopefully I'll be able to get that in the coming weeks. Then we move to deadlifts. Uh, you can see the lifts there, still pretty light. I ended up doing them all without a belt or without wrist straps, straps, anything. And I didn't have lifting chalk either. So I'm pretty happy about that. Getting three, I actually changed it. The last set was 315, and then the, or the second to last set was 315. And the last set I changed it 335. It's just easier to put the plates on. And I figured it's just five pounds. So 335 for five without, at the end of a working sets without any help at all, completely raw. I think that's pretty good. So I ended up getting all those, then moved to bench. Um, I ended up getting all those also without any wrist wraps either. I actually couldn't find them. They were in my bag, I just couldn't find them. But so yeah, I ended up with going up to about 215 for five. And so that worked pretty well. And I'm really focusing on my chest after I do the main movement, I'm really focusing on, after that, going to like an incline barbell or decline barbell and using a lighter weight, like 155 or so, but really stopping at the bottom and almost stopping so there's no elastic fibers or whatever, tension helping me bring it up so I can work on the bottom of the movement, the power. Um, and then finally squat, I just did two days ago and went all the way up to 265 for five. And that was completely, um, what was I say? I wore a belt on the last set. And the reason I used that is because I did this workout real late at night. I wasn't really feeling it. And I was thinking, oh, yeah, this weight's really easy. You can see it's not the real heavy weight. But once I got to 265, I was actually, it was kind of hard, which was surprising. I think it's just lack of motivation, lack of um, preparation. And it was completely out of my normal routine. So um, with that, I ended up getting it, but it was just a little harder than I would have liked. Although I can say I went down deeper than ever before. So I guess all in all, I'm pretty happy about that. So I've hit all the weights except for the overhead press, the last set. So um, make sure to keep following me on this program. And also on the other side of the channel, you can follow Doug and his cutting. He's got some good information for you cutting out there. I'm sure there's a bunch of you. And hopefully you like some of the information I'm spewing out over here on my side. Uh, so hopefully you like the video. Speaking of that, you can like the video, go down and comment, and even subscribe. But remember, there's always more on the way. So stay tuned. I will actually be competing in not only the teen division of bodybuilding, but also the teen division of physique. Now the reason I decided to do this is because a lot of people have told me that I might do well in it, and I really don't know, but I figure I might as well give it a shot since I already.